Welcome to Vidya Lakshmi Studios. This is Kumar Asian, facilitator of social science. Today we are going to discuss about early revolts against British rule in Tamil Nadu. In behind this is very very important monument which is situated at Belur, which which is remembering the great historical event in 1806. In 18th century, there is a conflict between French and English with Indian allies in the name of three Carnatic Wars between 1744 to 1763, which is began to consolidate and extend the British power and its influence in South India. The first resistance. to east india companies territorial aggrandizement was from pulitaver of nerkattam seval in tirunelveli region aggrandizement in the sense the act of increasing power prestige and wealth and here the power is increased in southern region especially at nerkattam seval in tirunelveli region this was followed by other chieftains in tamil country such as velu nachiyar veerapandiya kattabomman the marudu brothers and the deeran chinna malai in tamil region this resistance known as palayakarar wars from 1755 to 18 not one this period is called palayakarar wars by british the resistance of regional powers against british in southern region which is known as palayakarar wars here palayams and palayakaras the word palayam means a domain a military camp a little kingdom which is considered by the british the palayakar is called as boligar boligar the name called by british referred to them in nick in tamil it refers to as holder of little kingdom as a feudo chieftains to a great great sovereign in particular region sovereign in the sense they have strong integrity as well as freedom for taking decisions under the system the palayams were given for a valuable military service rendered by any individuals in tamil region this type of palayakara system was in practice during the rule of pratabharudra of varankal in kagathya kingdom in present day andhra pradesh this system this system was put into place in tamil nadu by a very important nayak ruler named vishwanath nayak under the guidance of his minister aryanadar during that time traditionally there were supposed to 72 palayams in southern region of tamil nadu the palayakaras were very important people for the governance especially they have certain duties during the time are free to collect revenue administrate the territory settle disputes and uh, maintain law and order these were very important duties of palayakaras for their own domain their duties were known as padikaval or arasikaval which which is given very important to them especially in tamil region in many occasions the palayakaras 72 palayakaras helped the nayak rulers to restore their kingdom to them the personal relationship 
and an understanding between the kings and the palayakaras made this system for long lasting for long lasting for about 200 years from the nayaks of madurai until take over this territories by the british the palems uh, were divided into two groups the 72 palayakaras created by the nayak rulers there were two blocks namely prominent eastern and uh, prominent western palayams the eastern palayams were saidur nagalapuram ettayapuram and panchalam kuruchi and the prominent western palayams were udumalai talaivan kottai naduvan kuruchi singampatti and saidur the palayakara revolt as we discussed already palayakara wars from 1755 to 1801 which is described a palayakara war by the british the revolt of pulitero from 1755 to 1767 especially in march especially in march 1755 Mahfuz Khan a brother of Nawab of Arkad was sent with contingent of company army under colonel Haron to Tirunelveli here the colonel Haron was a leader of company troops when colonel Haron attacked Madurai Madurai was easily fell into their hands Thereafter, Colonel Aron was urged to deal with Pulitzer. He continued to defy the authority of the company. To defy in this sense, refused the authority because for want of cannon, cannon in the sense a huge uh, military vehicle which carries uh, long guns and the supplies and pay to the soldiers. Colonel Heron abandoned the plan and retired to Madurai later he was recalled and dismissed from the service and Colonel Heron was a honest person he demanded weapons and supply of food as well as the salary of their camp so that the military especially abandoned Colonel Heron was dismissed from the service and sent to England back very important here confederacy and alliance with enemies of the british pulitzer were decided to gather all the people in south india those who are against to british one such a people are called three patan pradesh or patan officers they are the agents of nawab chanda sahib namely maya mudi maya nabi khan katak commanded the madurai and tirunelveli regions behalf of nawab chanda sahib they supported tamil palayakaras against arkad nawab here chanda sahib nawab of karnataka region arkad nawab who is ruled south tamil nadu here the pulitzer established close relationship with them the pulitzer also formed a confederacy of palayakaras to fight against british during the time with the exception of palayakaras of sivagiri all other marava palayam supported him finally Ettayapuram and Panjalam Guruji also did not join this confederacy of Pulitzer. Further, the English succeeded in getting the support of the Raja of Ramanagaram and Pudukote against Pulitzer. Yeah, Pulitzer tried to get the support of Hyderabad of uh, Mysore 
and the French. But Hyder Ali could not help Politeva because as he was already locked in the series of conflicts with Marathas in their region. So without the help of Hyder Ali and the French, Politeva could not get more force against the British. Battle of Kalakkadu or Kalakkadu battle is the first theater of war between Politeva and uh, Mavus Khan. Here, the Nawab sent an additional contingent of Sipais to Mavus Khan and to the reinforced army proceeded to Thirunalveli. Besides of 1000 Sipais of company, Mavus Khan received 600 more sent by the Nawab of Arkad and he also had the support of Khavari and the foot soldiers from the Karnatic region. In battle of Kalakadu, before Mahfuz Khan could station his troops near Kalakadu, 2000 soldiers from Truvangur joined the force of Politevar. In the battle of Kalakadu, Mahfuz Khan's troops were routed, easily defeated by Politevar and his allies. Here, the first state of war ended with Mavus Khan, victory of Politeva. The organized resistance of Palekar is under Politeva. The English to interfere directly in the affairs of Thirunalveli. Here, uh, Politeva become more dominant in Thirunalveli region. So, the English started to interfere directly uh, in the matters of Politeva. Here, the British, aided by the Trivangur from 1656 to 1763. Especially, the aid provided by the uh, ruler of Trivangur to Pulitevar from 1756 to 1763. The Palakaras of Thirunal Valley led by Pulitavar were in the constant state of rebellion against Nawab's authority. Here the person is called Yusuf Khan, also known as Khan Sagif, or before his conversion to Islam, he was he is called Mardanayagam, who to attack Pulitavar unless the big guns and the ammunition from Trichrapalli arrived. When the English East India Company sent Yusuf Khan to Turnal Valley to attack Pulitava, he didn't get proper ammunition, especially artilleries and weapons in before. So he waited for uh, weapons to attack Pulitava. As the English were at the war with the French as well as as the English were at the war with French as well as Aydar Ali and uh, Marathas, the artilleries arrived only in the September 1760. Yusuf Khan began to batter the Nerkatam several fort of Pulitava and this attack continued for more than two months. In 16th May 1761, Pulitavar's three major forts, Nerkattam Sevar, Vasudeva Nallur and Panayur came under the control of Yusuf Khan. In the meantime, after taking Pondicherry, the English had eliminated the French from the picture of wars. Here the French, French people were stunned support of Pulitavar against the British because British and French had great rivalry for capturing the places in India. As a result of this, the unity of Palaikaras began to break up as the French support was not forthcoming. Here the Palaikaras unity were broken down because of the defeat of French in Pondicherry. 
following of that trivandur seidur udmalai and surandai switched their loyalty to the opposite camp which means to british because of this incident pulitaver exiled from his place yusuf khan who was negotiating with the palayakaras without informing the company administration was charged with the treachery and the hand in 1764 after defeating pulitaver yusuf khan had very close relationship with palayakaras who built a strong enmity against british so yusuf khan was hanged in 1764 especially after the death of yusuf khan pulitaver returned from exile recaptured nerkattam several in 1764 however he was defeated by captain campbell in 1767 then pulitaver escaped and died in exile here most important figure for pulitaver named ondi viran ondi viran led one of the army unit of pulitaver fighting by the side of pulitaver he caused much damage to the company's army according to oral tradition in one battle ondi viran hand was chopped off and pulitaver was saddened but ondi viran boldly said that it was a reward for his penetration into enemies for causing many heads to roll it's a great thing for a knighthood as nobody will accept such a thing such a thing just like that ondi viran accepted that it's a gift which is given by the enemies to him penetration into enemies fort causing many heads to roll so ondi viran given biggest support to pulitaver for recapturing his palayams as well as for a great victory of pulitaver in next video we'll continue to discuss about velonachar and kataboman thank you